What's up, gamers? All right, we're doing school stories this episode. Oh, cool. It'll go with our other... Uh... Oh, I have to go back to EGAD. All right, uh, you said something about Miss Adams, correct? Oh, my God. If you never had Miss Adams, How I did you not? You... Oh, yeah, you went to Amanda. <laughs> I went to Amanda till seventh grade. Miss Adams nice. was probably the most exquisite teacher I've ever had. Uh, let's Define see. exquisite. <laughs> she was, well, she was my third grade sign language teacher as well as my seventh grade history teacher somehow. Did you not have McGinnis? Well, or no. I, I would have had Miss Nunnally. No. Is this at, is this at I New Hope? I liked Miss Nunnally, surprisingly. Yeah. She, she and I got along. Is this this at was New at New Hope, yeah. So, but Miss Adams, like, took over Miss Nunnally's class and Miss Nunnally hated her because of it. It was funny. Anyway. It was I, funny. He said with no remorse. Yeah, so in third sorry. grade, Miss Adams told me that I was going to go to hell because I forgot my sign language notebook. <laughs> that was my experience with Miss Adams in third grade. Oh, also, I handed a broom to someone, and I, like, tipped over, and they caught it, and it, like, hit their knuckle or something, and they said, ow, and picked it up, and that was it. And then she sent me to the office because I was apparently assaulting other students. That was fun, too. She <laughs> sounds Oh, wait, wait, wait. She, I have a broom story. Some people, well, well, give me a second. Some people have, like, a stick up their butt. Miss Adams probably was sitting on an entire tree, because holy crap. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that one? Um. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> All right, so wait, wait, I got to tell the broom story. Hold up, hold up. Spencer, do you remember the one time that Niall uh, hit a certain teacher with a broom at lunch? <laughs> no. So uh, our, our wonderful science teacher decided, hey, let's um fall on some black ice and uh, hurt my elbow. Um, so then she was like, you know, she was sort of recovering, like, you know, a few weeks after. And then we were, Niall was cleaned gossel? up lunch. Yeah, gospel. And then she, Niall decided, hey, you know what would be fun? Let's swing this broom around for no reason. And then he swings it around and freaking nails her in the elbow. Like the elbow that she, um, hurt and had her in a cast on. Well, cast, quote unquote. It was a sling. Sling, yeah. Was this, that might have been the same time that Niall had, like, broken his foot at winter retreat for... Oh, he 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 threw a snowball and slipped and broke his foot. <laughs> what? How? It's because it's Nile. What do you expect? Gooey G U rule thirty four. Anyway, is it that... probably is. So Miss, back to Miss Adams. I mean, <laughs> she was like, let's see. When I had her in seventh grade history, it was an experience. So experience. she one time spent twenty minutes of class defining what an anvil is, even What's though an we had already told her that we knew what an anvil was. We, Miss A, hey, Miss McGinnis did the same thing with canals. <laughs> we just had spent an entire class period on canals because we have dumb, dumb, dumb classmates. Your class is kind of stupid. We got I to hate watch. my class. <laughs> the, he the teachers hate your class too, man. Don't worry. Guinness doesn't. We're her favorite class. X. That's what she said. She said we're her favorite class. I, we I'm pretty sure well. all of her, us are her favorite classes. Everybody likes her because she's actually a good teacher. We're not Mr. Drum's favorite class, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Did Mr. Drum have a favorite class? I just think we're all equally disappointing. I mean, he probably likes all the junior guys. Like all the teachers. Probably. Um, I know Goss or Goss's favorite anyway. Can I tell my Can I tell my Miss Adams story so I can leave this episode? Oh well no, you're staying here now. Oh you're you're already in there. We're telling school stories. Well, I can't even tell mine. (laughs) Alright, tell it. So basically in seventh grade, Miss Adams well, this wasn't specifically in seventh grade, but she hated the words freaking and crap. Like, those were... <laughs> freaking crap. We always joked about... Like... freaking and retarded, so... <laughs> well, we're talking She has a good reason for retarded, but not for freaking. I guess, freaking. like, we always joked about, oh, if Miss Adams taught a public school, she'd, like, have a seizure. <laughs> so there was this one dude in my class oh, named no. Lane. Lane. He was, um, <laughs> not a Christian... But, um, he was like, hey, watch this, I'm gonna go annoy Miss Adams. So he would always go up to her and say, freaking crap. And, um, it was the end of our eighth grade year. Effing S. No, he didn't say that. He, he was, he's like, walked up to Miss Adams, and he's like, hey, Miss Adams. She's like, what? Fuck. And just walked away. <laughs> Miss Adams was standing there with her, like, slag jaw. It was the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen. She didn't even know how to respond to that. That is not okay, though. That reminds me of, um... <laughs> There was this one post I saw, and it was, like, about this school that had, like, a... You had to pay $10 for every curse word you said, and this kid got caught for saying, like, shit or something. So we had to go to the we principal. stop cursing? So he, he, he went to the principal and gave her a 20 and said, Here, you can keep the fucking change. <laughs> <laughs> can we stop cursing? No. Because YouTube's gonna destroy us. You No, YouTube's not gonna watch this. 
They they see everything, or okay. they might not see everything, but you know what? Their hyper advanced learning algorithm will. Yeah, what the hell kind of dumbass would say curse words on camera? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> if my dad ever sees this, he's gonna kill both of you. Don't. <laughs> We have uh, Spencer's dad watching Luigi's Mansion. I was going to say, Spencer's dad, if you're watching Luigi's Mansion, first of all, thank you for the support. And second of all, <laughs> this is a rarity. it was relevant to the school story, so I don't... Apologies. Yeah. Please don't ground me. <laughs> I'll be dad. No, please ground Spencer. Just don't. Yeah. don't Stop! Come <laughs> on, guys. What the frick? Didn't uh, mean... Gotta give it the blow. Here, wait, blow. wait. Someone call Tucker really fast. <laughs> Stop. We can get the real no, curse words. No, no, <laughs> We're not doing Is that. Is it really a curse word if people use it to, you know, just feel good about themselves? What? Why am I clapping? Just... Dead. Die. Okay. Gonna do the um, turn around him. Alright, so... Uh, Squishy. Oh, I have a school story. Anyway, so this there was this one girl, um... And you might know of her. Her name was Riley Schultz. She yeah, dated yeah. Holden. She's cute. Has the frizzy hair. Yeah, I yep. know her. She. She. I hit. All right. S stop. Anyway, <laughs> so. I mean, just being honest. And jeez, was it fifth grade? It might have been. So I was in the accelerated class, and she was not. Oh, surprisingly, smart pants over here. Shut up. <laughs> and I so while I was time. over in Miss Tool's room, Miss Tool was great. <laughs> It's, it was spelled T-O-O-I-L-L, -L, like 2-L. Twill. Anyway, but, so while I was over there, apparently while she was reading a, her book, Riley just started laughing, and all of, she started laughing all of a sudden, and then just passed out. <laughs> what? In the middle of class, <laughs> okay, fell buddy, and got a concussion. <laughs> oh. I, I'm putting my quarter on the next story. Anyway, go ahead. I'm putting like, my quarter after that one. It's just like the most random type of thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Thank you, Spencer. Uh, uh, stupid. Chub chub. Dummy thick. Blub, blub. Anyway, yeah, so that reminded me of another thing. So you remember, I I'm sure all of you have heard Miss Wolf's choir uh, experience. Dude, I hated Miss Wolf. I never had She Ms. hated Wolf. me. I was, we were forced to take choir when I was in like 6th or 7th grade. It was the dumbest thing ever. Wait, really? Oh, wow. That's yeah, it, it sucked. They changed the policy, luckily, but we had to take choir, so um, we were practicing for one of the Christmas concerts, and um, Luke Smythe was like doing a solo, and he sang really hard for some reason. <laughs> Not even during his part, he just starts screaming, and then faints on the stage. And everyone just <laughs> there, and they're Luke like, what Smythe? the frick happened? Yeah. <laughs> He just starts, like, screaming and just passes out and falls down. And I was like, what's going on? Like, I, I thought I was, like, dreaming or something. Um, that's kind of crazy. All right. Now, okay. So that's your quarter. quarter. No, no. Okay. Yeah, I, I had the quarter after Dalton. Which is actually two stories. How do you know it was That done? go together. Or, okay, do you have anything else? No, go ahead. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> so, flashback There's to the preschool. My, wait, what? Get the oh, unbreakable. The diamonds over there. <laughs> my my first yeah. preschool year... Uh, I was with Spencer's class, because apparently I was too small or something, so I had to be held back with my, my class that I hate. Dora. Which I'd hate your class, too, so it's not like that changed anything. I was going to um, say, you, I think... Anyway, and you know Kim Curry? Yeah. We, we were best friends in preschool. She was... We'd always play together. She's still pretty nice. I yeah, talked to her sometimes. Nice, you know. But um, one day she wasn't there, and I was like, oh, that sucks. I have no one to play with. And then you know Lauren Smith? Who I do worship with now? Lauren Smith. Lauren Smith. The blonde chick. Lauren Smith. No. What do you mean you don't know Lauren the Smith? Woman? Yeah, the girl that I do worship with now. That's Lauren Smith. Oh, anyway, okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, she decided, hey, let's let's play. I'll play with you and be nice. So I was like, oh, that's dope. So, uh, I brought her a necklace the next day for some reason, which my mom won't let me live down. And then I thought, hey, you know what, top this off, let's kiss her on the lips. No. Yep. No. So that happened. I try to forget about it. I hope she forgot about it, because I don't want to talk about that ever. Well, you just did, didn't you? <laughs> well, I talked about it on the internet. She's not going to watch this. <laughs> New <Okay>. subscriber. <laughs> uh, anyway, that transitions right into my next story, because you reminded me of Miss Wolf. Miss um, Wolf. 
Hey, no, shut no, up. No. It doesn't he said, matter. He said it right there. No, he said he, he, No, there was an L in there. Anyway, so it was in like third grade, and we were running through the Christmas concert stuff for practice, and I was feeling like really sick. I was like, Miss Wolf, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. Please let me take a break. She's like, nah, you're okay. And then I proceeded to vomit on the stage. And then she was like, fine, go to the bathroom or whatever. And I went there. Ugh, and you're ruining my uh, perfect Christmas concert. <laughs> exactly. Stupid sicknesses. And then I, uh, I just said, like hey. Gibson thing, I don't know. <laughs> said, hey, I'm going to take a crap. And then Mike, Michael Fluhart came in, then sat in the stall next to me, and then asked me if I was okay. And I was like... Not really. He's like, alright, I'm gonna call your grandma. So my grandma came, picked me up, uh, I threw up in her car again, and then I got to play um, Mario and Sonic the Olympic Winter Games on the DS, which was fun. What the frick has happened to the story? <laughs> it right. wasn't me complaining about my, my, my quarter time. I, person. I hate, okay, I know you had a quarter, but I have a really quick thing. Alright. The freaking, um,. A quarter of it so, did you guys ever hear about the controversy where someone smeared crap all over the church bathroom? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's happened multiple times. I, I know oh, what? one time yeah. someone, someone wrote a curse word Keith on like one of the stalls, and they had they brought us down to like the cafeteria to talk to us for like 30 minutes, and I just zoned out. I would it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Like, I'm like, oh, it wasn't me, so I don't care. We had someone tell us that we're not supposed to talk during lunch, which was. Sounds like Kelly Blue Wall. <laughs> I don't know who it was, but someone's like, yeah, why are you all having, like, being so loud? You all are supposed to sit here and eat, like, responsible individuals or something. It's like, it's freaking lunch. But, anyway, go ahead. Alright, my stories. Right. One. Yeah. Mr. Gibson. <laughs> Mr. <Mister> Thickson. <laughs> Alright. Yes, but stop. Yes, but stop. Um, so... He wanted us, the middle school band, to be like a fully fledged like five star opera band. Opera band. Or, or like what? Or not opera, like musical theater, whatever. Like the pit band. Concert. Concert band. What? I mean, that's what the class is called. But like, we don't have like violins and stuff like that, obviously. So he would like insult us whenever we got the stuff wrong, and that just did not do, like low self-esteem me coming from like and so I'm sitting there like just getting ringed and I'm just like so I, I, I did I did Gibson for two years and then you know what I said you know what screw this and I quit and I went and did choir and that was the first year Mr. Radcliffe showed up Radcliffe Radcliffe is quite Radcliffe is goaded great He's quite possibly the greatest thing that has ever happened to our school. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree. Um, I have a quick Gibson story, if that's okay. One time, um, we were in, like, Christmas practice again. <laughs> Christmas practice stories. And the band was running through. And Donovan Geddes and Hayden Bear were like, Hey, Mr. Gibson, look at this. And then they threw a water bottle at him. <laughs> and then know? they all got lunch detentions. What, what, what was this? <laughs> like, during Grandparents' Day. So we were while we were all doing Grandparents' Day stuff, they were eating lunch with Mr. Gibson. <laughs> oh, I got... Mem remember the old policy on lunch detentions? Where if you didn't turn a homework... In on the day it was due, you got a lunch detention? Yeah, that I was... did so many lunch detentions. How do you freaking do this? I don't remember. <laughs> you got stuck on him, Ren. Oh, wait, you just... Don't you have a key? I, I realized my mistake. One time I got the tension and didn't show up and no one said anything ever. Miss Miss B gave me the tension <laughs> for, like, walking on the grass, apparently, even though I, I tripped. So, um... Oh, oh, hold up, I got a good story. Yeah, it, I got, like, detention for that, apparently, and, um, yeah, nothing happened. I, I forgot about it, and I didn't show up, and I was like, oh, crap, I had detention the other day, and no one ever said anything, so. My dad started a snowball fight after school one day. Oh, no. Yeah, with, uh, uh, Mr. Martin, as <laughs> still as a school head. <laughs> And it, I had like every, there were like kids taking their socks off and like putting them on their hands to like use this, uh, <laughs> DIY mittens, and we were going out like we were going in on each other and it was great. Which was it, out or in? <laughs> Shut up. And 
Mr. Martin just decides, oh no, we can't have any of that. No fun in this establishment. <laughs> yeah, our class was banned from snowball fights because that's all that we do. Yeah, like, in like at re like there was a time where it wasn't cold enough at recess for us to be inside, and there was snow outside. We were just saying, yeah, snowballs, and they're like, no. Oh, not even at recess. Like in middle school, we'd just be chilling, and then um, someone would throw a snowball at Audrey Fosna, and then it'd all escalate from there. <laughs> it was great. I mean, there was one time where we we uh, this was this year where Brayden and the uh, some of the other sophomore uh, junior guys. Um, yeah, Briggs, because he's in our Bible class. Uh, we ambushed Jeremiah with some snowballs this year. <laughs> and so he comes around the corner, there's five guys sitting there with snowballs. And... Just modeling some spheres. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna pause it here, actually. Wait, what are so we at? 16? Like 16, yeah. Uh, we, we can keep minutes? going. We can keep going. We're, we're in a good discussion. Yeah. I, yeah, this is a good episode. Okay. But, um... Did you guys ever do recess out in the front of the school? What? Uh, once, yeah. I was gonna say that that it was sucked. an older policy. They basically threw us out in like the parking lot slash front yard. It was weird. All right, every any... time we found the dead bird and they like took us inside. Oh, that's At weird. any time that I've ever had recess outside has been a bad time. Really? Dude, we well, love recess outside. Well, we I mean, we not outside, but I mean on pavement. It's been a... what? Are we not supposed to be in here? I think I'm pretty sure we're there. supposed to be in this room. Well, any time that I've had recess on the pavement's been a bad time because I I was that like I said I was the one nerd kid that nobody liked to hang out with, Mood. and so uh, for recess when they would play flag football I'd always like to play anyway because I didn't care. I'm supposed to up here. Stomp. No, that doesn't give you a portal. What the frick? Transfer Luigi. Um, um, so I'll, I'll throw in my, my thing here. So there wait, was, hold up. Okay. I, I totally stopped in the middle of that. I probably should have. Anyway, so I, I run to get a fly ball, um, and I get to it first. I get shoved down. Kid steps on my hand on the asphalt. I am like dying over here because like. He, he rubbed, like, my hand along the asphalt like this. Like, oh, knuckles yeah. down. Oh, that's what I have to do. And that was so awful. That was, like, the worst experience ever. Also, uh, I remember we thought there was a fossil in the front yard of the school, so we would take rocks and, like, try and dig up the fossil. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to... Oh, do you guys universe. still have that, like, tire out in the back? Uh, the tire that you can sit under? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we, we tried to do the uh, the stairway to hell there, and uh, just dug as far down as we could. One time we literally got a hole, like, a foot deep, and they told us to fill it in, or we'd, like... Really? Get expelled or something, What is it with that? I mean, like, it was literally I mean, not I'd... hurting anyone. It's just a plot of sand lot. I mean, I'm sure not I wouldn't want a foot hole sand. deep. Thing there. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, jeez, break on me. <clears throat> um, but yeah, the last thing that I want to say before I leave this episode. Oh, it's, it's basically over. I, I mean, yeah. Just... So, there was. Uh, do you guys know Kayla Wolf? Uh, yeah. She's um, babysat for us before. Oh, nice. So, yeah, she, um,. We... It was in like fifth grade. She was like tormenting me one time because I was the type of person who wanted to know everything. She's just like, I forget the scenario, but essentially something happened where she had crucial information and she said, oh, I'm not telling you what it is. So I was like, okay, screw you. So one time I wasted like the last recess that she ever had in fifth grade um, just by telling her that I had something special to tell her. And then at the end of, like, the half an hour recess, I'm like, Kayla, you just wasted a 30-minute recess. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what the heck are you doing? It was great. Oh, uh, nice. What am I supposed to be doing in here? Finding, uh... Oh. But I don't have the key, because that's up there. So I gotta go wow. up there. Wow. Collect the Infinity Stones. Well, hurry up. BRB gamers. Gonna All try right. along. Let me see. I, I'm trying to think of more stories. Um, think hard. I've never got detention before. That's kind of, kind of a fun fact. <clears throat> Somehow I never got detention at Circle. I was the freaking principal king in kindergarten. Let me tell you what. What is that? I'd mean? always get in fights. Like with oh Aaron, my gosh. And like with Wesley, this one annoying kid. 
Dude. The, all right. Is... In kindergarten, I was the most... Actually, no. I should change... Did you get beat up in kindergarten, Spencer? No. In kindergarten, I got in trouble because I was... I would answer things too quickly. Like, because I used to... <laughs> I Because I read a lot of, like, nonfiction fact books. And... The I would always re answer questions without raising my hand, so I got on red. And did you guys ever do that oh, the system? Card system, yeah. Yeah, I got on red a lot because. Okay. <laughs> well, looks like a good time to end the episode. Yeah. So I'll uh. So I got on red a lot because I was literally too smart. <laughs> <laughs> we had. Did you ever have Miss Crumb in either? No. Nope. Uh, I, I didn't have any teachers that you had, probably, except for, like, McGinnis. I was never taught anything. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, hey, this is way too to take science with Conrad. Anyway, uh, that's all the time we have. All right. Bye.